Hey, it's Van from Candrone, and today we're back at it with another demonstration of an amazing feature on these DJI Enterprise drones that you've probably heard of but never used before. Traditionally, drone work has always been individualized to the pilot in command who is using the remote controller to operate the aircraft. So Flight Hub 2 is really disrupting this individualized workflow more towards a, a more collaborative workflow where the drone operation can be shared with uh, anyone that is involved in the operation um, it will help to increase the overall uh, situational awareness of your drone operation and overcome communication barriers but, uh, through this ecosystem by making it a more collaborative workflow. This is an excellent tool for any drone operations that are operating in critical situations such as search and rescue, firefighting, or policing. Flight Hub 2 is compatible with most DJI Enterprise products on the market today. That includes the DJI um, Mavic 3 Enterprise, the Matrice 30 series, the Matrice 300 series, and the Matrice 350 series that just came out, and the DJI Dock. Flight Hub 2 can be accessed through most devices that have an internet browser. That includes your Apple iPhone, your Samsung phone, or just a regular laptop computer. The one thing to remember is that because this is a cloud-based software, you will need a solid internet connection to use it. So in the city today, uh, we can hotspot off of our phone and be able to use all those features pretty seamlessly. But if you're in a rural or remote area, you might want to consider investing in something like a Starlink in order to enable that, that interface to work properly. All right, so today we're gonna do a live demonstration of the Flight Hub 2 software. Uh, some of the key features that we're going to be looking at today is the live camera view capability. So that's why we have two drones today that we're going to put simultaneously in the air and we're going to be able to get a live stream from both cameras at the same time as well as see where both drones are relative to our operation. The next feature we, we're going to look at is the live mapping feature. So this feature allows you to generate a live map out of an area to and overlay it into your, your operation. Traditionally, you would have to fly the, the mission, uh, collect the data, land the drone, download the data, process it, through, process it through your software, and then distribute it. Uh, with this live mapping feature, it generates the map live as the drone progresses through the drone operation. The live data upload from the drone allows you to the drone pilot to capture the data from the drone and it automatically uploads to the Flight Hub 2 cloud and from the command center the, they can access those same image and data set immediately instead of waiting for the pilot to land and offload the data. The live map annotation feature really helps to overcome the communication and barriers in a critical situation where there's multiple people or agencies involved. Anyone with access to the Flight Hub 2 platform can look at a singular map that the drone operator is looking at, the command center is looking at, and any ground crew that's also on the ground. Um, within this feature, you can you know, pinpoint certain points of interest that you might want the field crew to investigate, and you can you know, drop that pin in that pinpoint, and whoever is in the field with Flight Hub 2 on their phone or mobile device, they can also see all those pinpoints and annotations that the crew is putting towards. And not only that, they can also see where their location is relative to that point. So they can precisely navigate to there to investigate uh, that situation. So for today, we've got everything set up and ready to go. We'll be using my computer here as the command center. Um, it's connected to my cell phone via the hotspot. And uh, we've have the aircraft all set up and ready to go. You'll just wanna make sure that you're logged into your DJI account on the pilot app. Um, and you'll want to go into the Flight Hub uh, menu and ensure that you're logged in and have joined the organization. And most importantly, that you've binded the aircraft to the Flight Hub account. All right, so now that we're in the Flight Hub, we're looking at the command center here, which is my laptop. Uh, we have two DJI Matrice 350s um, that we'll be flying today to demonstrate this live view capability. So I've got my assistant, uh, Victor, he's operating the drone, so I'm not operating two drones at the same time, and I'll be operating the other drone. So what we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take off. Let's look at some of the information that you can get uh, streamed to the drone here. Okay, we're both taking off, and you can see on the screen here, you get a nice 
view of the drones here. Yeah, looking at the uh, interface here, you see that both drones are in the air at once, and uh, you can have really a, an unlimited amount of numbers of drones in the operation. So let's say theoretically we're doing a search and rescue mission, you could, you'd obviously have the other drone in another area that you'd be searching. So it's a little bit more spread out. But in terms of, yeah, what we can see in the drones here, uh, we can see the altitude, the remaining power levels. So uh, to access the, the live view of both drones, I'm just gonna click uh, this button right here and you'll see the call sign for each aircraft. I'll click that. And uh, we'll just enter into the camera view here. So you can look at the FPV camera or, or the, the, pay, uh, the, the camera that uh, is attached to it. So in this instance, we have the H20T camera. So I'm just gonna open that up. So you'll probably hear that, uh, yeah, the live stream has started. Um, so Victor, if you can just yeah, pan around with the thermal camera, I'll open my camera view too. And this is all live. Uh, it's pretty amazing technology. So imagine if um, you know you were you had multiple drones in the air. It can all be monitored at the same time. Um, so one thing to note is that you don't have the camera control on the kind of the uh, uh, the command center. Um, the pilot in command will have command of the the drone fully and the camera uh, controls. So in this situation, you would you know be using like a radio communications to kind of radio in your crew to tell them you know what what you'd like them to, to hone in on um, so yeah so let's demonstrate i'll i'll put up the uh h20 camera yeah switch to thermal mode there uh, on my camera here i will use this zoom camera to zoom into the other drone here so I'll switch to zoom and yeah you can see the other beautiful matrice 300 in the air here oh there you go Look at that. See that? And yeah, Victor is just scoping around looking at the, the thermal imaging camera. I can switch to the infrared here. Uh, you can see that nice difference in temperature. I'll go back to the zoom camera here. And uh, so I'll put this down for a second. And um, yeah, you can, you know, you can full screen this or you can get a nice live view of what the camera is looking at. I'll switch over to the other drone here. Full screen that. Can you go into the thermal mode, Victor? Nice. And uh, yeah, just look around. So traditionally uh, for a drone operation, I've heard of people sharing the, their screen over you know, Teams viewer or something like that, but obviously it's not as uh, nice and, and uh, smooth as, as what we can get directly from, from Flight Hub here. Um, you know, typically the pilot command um, operating the drone that everyone wants to see would have to plug through the HDMI into a screen, but uh, with Flight Hub 2, literally anybody with, um, with access to this organization uh, is able to see what the drone is seeing. Um, so yeah, it's such, a, it's such a powerful feature here. All right, so this is just a quick demonstration of how we can have people part of the organization uh, log onto their mobile device. So we have Victor, he's on his um, cell phone, uh, logged into Flight Hub 2, and uh, you can see his positioning relative to where he is on the, the aircraft right here. So let's say theoretically, you know, you're doing a, a search mission here with the drone. Um, as you can see on a flight hub on the command center here, it's giving you a nice uh, annotation of where the camera position uh, is pointed at. So let's say um, I wanted our ground crew, we spotted something. Um, let's say it's this, this sign here. So just point at that. Zoom in. And I will, um, what I'll do is I'll set a pinpoint. And um, in a second, you'll see on the command center, the, the pinpoint has shown up on our, our map here. And uh, on Victor's mobile device, uh, he should also be able to see 
a pinpoint uh, that we marked on there. Can you go and uh, investigate what that sign says for us? So Victor is walking over to the pinpoint. He can see the same thing, uh, the same map as as we uh, we can we can see on our flight hub here. So that's that's what we're zoomed in on. It's pretty amazing how you can read the the sign here from a, a distance here. And there's Victor, he has arrived onto the pinpoint location to investigate. So yeah, as you can see, this can be a very powerful tool for any public safety application here. Uh, really helps with the collaboration. So everybody's on the same page in terms of what you're looking at. And uh, most of all, most importantly, it provides a live update as we're progressing through the, the situation here. All right, so the next feature we're gonna talk about is the cloud mapping feature of Flight Hub 2. So this is a great tool for increasing situational awareness where if you were to use a old Google Maps base map where it might not have been updated, let's say it's a forested area and now it's a clearing, um, what you can do is you can create a live map that will overlay the old Google Maps image to give you uh, a pretty much an up-to-date version of, of a map. So how we'll do that is we'll go into the flight route on the, on the uh, Pilot 2 app here. Uh, we'll create a new route, create a uh, mapping mission. And uh, let's say we have a yeah, search and rescue situation here. It's an old map that needs to be updated. So we'll just simply create a, a quick mapping mission here. And we'll adjust the altitude to about uh, 200 feet. Yeah, just gonna make sure that we select the right camera. So this will be the H20T and we'll just use the wide, but there is a capability to do a live thermal mapping also. Uh, but for our demonstration purposes here, we'll just do a quick RGB mapping mission. So what you wanna do is enable the cloud reconstruction Check all our settings here. Should be a, just a very quick mission flight here. Okay, so what we'll do is create a yeah, an up-to-date map uh, instantly. So traditionally you would have to fly the mission, land the aircraft, pull the memory card off the, off the drone, process it in your software. But right now we're just gonna construct it live on our flight hub here. Um, so everything looks good in terms of settings. And uh, what we'll do is we'll start the mapping mission. Second here. Okay, so I'm gonna start that. Next, oh, make sure we're in the right flight mode. Upload mission and we'll start it. Moving to start point. Okay, and uh, from here we'll monitor the aircraft. Check map to confirm. Stream started. It's gonna to go to 200 feet. I love that it annotates the uh, flight, the first waypoint on your FPV camera here. Okay, so now we should start seeing the map being generated live on our flight hub too here. And again, uh, you'll want to make sure that you have a, a fast internet connection to ensure this feature works properly. And yeah, the mapping data is, is uploading live as we're flying the mission here. Oh, there you go. So it's starting to generate here. I have to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so the mission has completed. Can return to home. It's gonna land where it takes off from. Perfect, okay. So that's finished. And uh, now let's look at our live map here and as you can see it's yeah it's an overlay and uh, from here you can annotate the map um, and share it across the organization and that's how it increases overall situational awareness live pretty amazing all right so the next feature we're going to demonstrate is the live map annotation so this is a really useful feature if there's any points of interest on your map that you want to share across the organization so let's say you're at the command center and you spot something on the camera that you want the drone to investigate. What you can do uh, from the command center is 
you know, drop uh, a point or a pin uh, on the location that you would like the pilot to uh, navigate towards and get a closer view on, or, or if there's a you know particular search area that uh, some, something it was missed, the command center could draw a kind of a box or a flight path around that. The pilot in command can also see the live annotation on their controller in order to navigate to that point of interest. So we'll begin by taking off the drone here. Taking off. Get into the air. So I'll look at my camera view here. So as you can see, the command center can see a live view. And let's say we go up a little bit higher. And uh, okay, so we're looking at the structure right here. I can press a pinpoint. I'll put it towards, let's say, this structure right here. And I'll name it. Now, check this out. Hit enter. And when we go back to the remote controller, you'll see that the pinpoint has updated on the pilot and commands uh, map view here. And they can navigate towards that. We'll withdraw. box for an area of interest. Uh, say you wanted to check out this area right here, this grid. So put that into there and just call that number one here. And looking on the map, that has now updated live. And then let's set some paths here just for demonstration purposes. Point. And keep in mind, you can change the colors, uh, color coding of all these annotations. So we'll look on the map here. And as you can see, it's also annotated on the controller here. So that moves us on to the next part where we can demonstrate the live um, data upload. So let's say the pilot command uh, gets to the area of interest and they can take a photo here. So I'll just take a, a snapshot. You can also take a video and I'll take a video a snapshot of that. And you'll just want to be make sure that uh, you click on the cloud and make sure that the photo and video uh, uploads are checked so that it uploads to the flight hub. And if we swap back to our command center here, uh, we'll go to our flight hub, go into the media files, and you'll see that the images have uploaded to the flight hub here and uh, you can see the wide oh, sorry that was a zoom and we got the wide and the infrared and it even gives you an idea of uh, the coordinates of where the photos were taken from all right so as you can see dji flight hub 2 is a very powerful tool that you can use in your organization to increase visibility to all the stakeholders and everybody involved for the most part, Flight Hub 2 is being used in public safety applications such as search and rescue, policing, and firefighting at the moment. But I'm sure there's plenty of other applications that are yet to be discovered. And we'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think you can use this for. So please leave a comment in the description or, or a post. And uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and social media for more upcoming content.